Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do unboxing and some demo of this bike I received in this box. Uh, should be very beautiful, nice, amazing bike. Bike brand Ijo. Ijo, it's a very nice brand. They have few bikes and every single bike is unique. So let me open up and show you more. So I just want to show you how the bike looks in the box. Looks like everything good, very well protected everything. I'm gonna pull out the bike and try to assemble. Most likely it's about 95% usually assembled. I can see the wheel over here, the frame looks like a little bit blue. So let's pull it out and see how it looks. All right, so I removed all the package, all the protection paper and stuff. It was very well packed, I can say. It takes me about two, three minutes to remove it. And now I'm gonna install the front wheel. It should be very simple. You use this axle, it's included. It was attached to the wheel, which is good, so you will not get it lost. You just uh, unscrew. I'll show you close up. This. You just remove it this way so you just attach it and this bicycle have a uh, hydraulic brakes so you have to be very careful when you're installing the tire so you will remove special plastic which already in place in the fork over here and what you do, you just lift it up like this and over here is a plastic in the brakes so you will remove it and insert the tire so once in, you insert the tire you just tighten up I would not recommend to tighten up very well until you're ready to align your tire because you would need to align everything so I'll just do temporarily just by hand and i'll show you how to do it rest so the first thing you would need to remove these four bolts okay in order to attach the handlebar okay so you would remove this piece you would remove it all right so you would take this handlebar and just uh, attach over here and uh, put it back it doesn't matter which side because it's, it looks even and just tighten with your fingers first all these bolts okay I don't recommend to tighten everything tight until you're completely ready because you would need to do some adjustment before you start to ride because you can move this handlebar up and down and then you can lift it up depending on your height on the side you can unscrew it and move it up and down as well so it's great so you take this mud guard and you insert from this side down over here you would just slide it in okay and then you take this bolt the one you removed and attach headlight from this side You would need a screwdriver to remove uh, these two screws from here in order to attach this fender over here. It should look like this. And it was much quicker than usually attaching this bolt to two sides. So this bicycle came almost assembled. I just need to attach now the pedals. And the pedals actually should be marked with R for right side 
and on the left side should be for left side. So I'm gonna attach the pedals over here and this bicycle already almost assembled. So I'm gonna do now to put some air pressure, right? So about 35 front and probably 35 on the back. It's a maximum sets here 40 PSI, but I'll use electric portable uh, pump. Looks like it came in with 25 PSI. So I'll put all the way to the for uh, 35 this is what i like about the portable pump and then first i would uh, align the handlebar and wheel everything straight and then tighten up these two bolts on the side from both sides You can uh, tighten up these four bolts now. Alright guys, so I assembled it. It was very simple. I did it yesterday, then before I got sunset. It took me a very short time. You just need to put front wheel in, pedals, handlebar. And that's all. It's all set. So before riding the bicycle, you need to remove the battery and turn this power button on. Once it turns on, you put it back, charge the battery, and now you can ride it. In order to ride the bicycle, you need to turn it on by pressing this power button. Display very small, but you can still see it pretty clear even on the sun. So it's pretty cool. So for the first time, I'm gonna check it out how fast it can go with the load so let's go hello let's see how fast I can go on throat only so it's 16 miles now 17 20 it's pick up speed really quick 23 24 25 and a half 26 27 28 Wow It can go 28 and it's actually pretty quick for this type of bicycle Look on this bicycle It's beautiful and it's very fast And um, it's uh, pedal assist very responsive let me check to see how so as soon as you start to pedal it gave you the support and the brakes work really good wow the hydraulic brakes hydraulic brakes works really good and they're way quiet you will not hear any squeak and one of the best that's why this Bicycle is, uh, has a very good parts, which most of you would love to have. Thank you. Thank you. Homeless people like my bikes. Okay. So, I'm going to do a run test over here to see how fast I can do with pedal assist only, I mean with throat only I guess you can go about 17-18 miles on the grass on throat and this bicycle have thumb throat which is really good I like thumb throat so from my experience right now as uh, just running around it's very pleasant to ride this bicycle because of the nice front suspension which works really good also the pedal seals kick in really nice I don't feel any delay so it's uh, very good integrated uh, nice motor pretty quiet actually quieter than many other motors 
uh, very powerful and fast. Uh, I would uh, recommend this bicycle anyone who wants a full-size bicycle. This bicycle can ride also without any pedal assist. You can turn off the pedal assist, uh, like right now it's to zero, and you can ride the bicycle as a regular bicycle with no problem at all. I'm riding right now with a pedal. You can change the gear very easily, and the gear changing really nicely, as you can see. On another side, you just and it works perfectly out of the box without any adjustment because it's very good quality parts on it. And I think it's a great bicycle. Uh, please check uh, description for the link to the website ejobike.net, I believe. And they do have some different models which is foldable i saw but it's all about your needs i can say the company do have very good quality control this bicycle came really nicely wrapped no damages at all actually i'm riding all the way now without any electricity because it's zero pedal assist and it's pretty good and i probably will keep this way so far so you don't really need to worry about the battery because you can pedal the bicycle with no electricity easier as a regular bicycle I want to share with you my experience the first impression and some more information about this uh, Ejo J750 so riding the bicycle is actually very fast over 28 miles per hour on the road only so it makes class 3 uh, second I was mistaken the front disc on the brakes is 180 millimeters the rear one two or three so it's bigger hydraulic by gamma which is uh, really good brakes makes no squeak brakes really fast and good so the the motor you might thought it's mid drive motor but actually this place have a um, controller and this is just regular hub motor not regular 750 what developed by Shimano Altus which actually I like it more than any other one I had on my other bicycles it's my second bicycle with the same derailleur and I can tell it's a very premium because right out of the box you remove this bicycle insert the wheel handlebar attach and pedals and you can ride without any adjustment needed because it's shifting really good and also the shifting it's uh, right here underneath and very convenient from both sides reachable the bell right here manual bell and display as it looks like sometimes disappointment that it's not colorful and small but as long as you can see everything even on the sun what you need to see on it that's very important you can see mileage that's all you need that's it so it works perfectly uh, it does have thumb throat which is good i like it and uh, very nice comfortable grip grip on the handlebar which easily can be attached mirror if you unscrew this two screw over here you can attach side mirror uh, because you can remove this cup easily very easy to work with this bicycle if you need to do any adjustment also the steam adjustable really helpful for adjusting to your height as a distance between ground to the step through it's an 18 inch and the seat can go down up to i think below 28 inch from the ground and up so it's 20 in each so if you are a shorter person it's a perfect bike because step through bikes i like it it's very easy to step through it's a full step through bike so you can easily ride it and look on this handlebar the cruise handlebar uh, really nice convenient your hands rest it so you can enjoy a longer ride and this bicycle comes with integrated battery inside which um, 48 by 14 amp 
so it's give you about at least like 38 to 60 miles depend on your pedal assist level and your weight I weighed over 210 pounds and it took me 28 miles pretty quickly per hour so it's very strong motor and the brakes is great stop right away with my weight on it so it comes with a front light which is integrated to the bicycle but the tail light also here but you have to turn it on at night by switching over here and it's uh, powered by battery I believe I'm not sure if it's rechargeable or not looks like it's just on battery it does come with a free rack which is nice can hold up to 25 kilo and it does have clip which is really useful sometimes okay Thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please don't be shy hit like button below subscribe to my channel for more video like this and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching see you later